There are many species of birds that could be considered to be an absolute menace to society. Crows could easily be in this conversation, as they are the complete definition of a scavenger, eating about anything in their path and constantly annoying people, along with the scary fact that crows have the intelligence of a seven-year-old child, and a group of them is called a murder of crows. While most people can agree crows are sometimes a nuisance, there is one species of bird in particular many have not heard about that is much worse than your average neighborhood crow. Let me introduce you to the shoebill stork. The name may not be very familiar as they are only found in the wetlands of Central and East Africa. These birds stand on average around a tall four to five feet, but only weigh a mere 12 pounds on average. The appearance of the shoebill stork can be quite intimidating as these prehistoric look-alike birds can give quite the death stare. They get the name from their substantially large beak used as a tool for mating and to catch prey. The method of killing their prey is unlike any other bird and ultimately greatly contributes to why they hold the menace of society title. You might be thinking that it can't be that bad, considering brutal hunting methods by other large carnivores around the world. Well, these birds mainly hunt fish, but are also known to go after baby crocodiles. So what precisely happens is after the shoebill stork has captured its prey in its bill, it will tilt its head upwards and grind the sharp edges of its prey to decapitate it, spilling out the prey's body contaminants from the edges of the bill. It sure is one gruesome way to die if you were the prey of a shoebill stork, but luckily as humans, we are far too big for them to see us as a food source, and even many photographers have gotten within 10 feet of these birds. So, if you happen to be in East or Central Africa, it's a sigh of relief that you won't suddenly be decapitated like a guillotine in the 1800s. Scary indeed, and there's more that these birds are known for. Like many species around the world, a male will often try to attract a mate and will do anything to impress her. This could be by battling with other males to the death, producing a certain smell, showing a bright array of colors, and in this case, release a sound to attract females. Shoebill storks release a very distinct sound though. It's very loud and almost sounds like a loud shriek. But most people say it sounds like a machine gun going off. Just have a quick listen at this video of one at a zoo. A sound like that in the forest would definitely send most people running in the complete opposite direction and as far from the noise as possible, especially since they are an extremely patient species often standing still in water for hours, waiting for its perfect opportunity to strike at its next meal. It may be terrifying to hear for many people, but female shoebill storks certainly do love the sound. The shoebill produces the sound by clapping its lower and upper jaw of its bill together. And if you thought this killer five foot tall prehistoric looking bird with a machine gun mating call wasn't already enough, well, it gets even worse. If you ever decided that a shoebill stork would be a tasty snack just sitting there, you need to know about their disgusting way of cooling off from the warm weather. Shoebill storks will crap all over their legs since their poop is mostly liquid as it results in cooler blood circulation. It's certainly gross, but a scientifically smart way of adapting to warm temperatures. While they have a terrifying resume, shoebill storks have been a respected species for a very long time. Ancient Egyptian artwork has shown shoebill storks in them, and it's really cool to think about how long they've been around but sadly they have become an endangered species, with roughly only 10,000 left in the wild. Many conservation efforts have begun for them, and hopefully it's enough, so this amazing but scary species can keep thriving.